this hair's happening. I was thinking about space as I often do and you know what I wonder is how do they calculate the living space of the International Space Station? Because there's a lot of space in there but it seems like such a small thing when you look at pictures of it. But I'm sure it's not that small because they attach spaceships to it all the time. So I'm going to research that. Finding out stuff about the ISS. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, this is what the International Space Station looks like. It looks like that. That's a cool way to look. Oh, first component launched into orbit in 1998. That is a lot more recently than I thought. The ISS is now the largest artificial body in orbit and can often be seen with the naked eye from Earth. The station has been continuously occupied for 15 years and 322 days. Since the arrival of the Expedition 1 on the 2nd of November 2000. Station structure is where I would guess that my the answer to my question is going to be. The ISS is a third generation modular space station so that basically means that it can be changed based on the stuff that they want it to do at that time. Oh, here's some facts about the thing that are tangentially related. It weighs almost a million pounds, including visiting spacecraft. Oh my god! Okay, here we go! It almost It's almost as large as the spaceship that carried Princess Leia. See, that is an important fact. It has more livable space than a six bedroom house. That is what I wanted to know. There we go. <laughs> There's an answer to my question. So I didn't find out the exact square footage, but, oh, I did find the solar array surface area, which is 38,400 square feet. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. I will see you all later. Peace out, friendos.